Oh, here comes a new boy. All right, Chris! Ah, oh, come on. What the hell's Coach Doyle thinking bringing in that fat slob? You know what? I bet you a hundred bucks that fat slob strikes this kid out. Ha! Ah, you're on. Strike one! Strike two! Strike three! Three strikes and he's out. Holy crap, a hundred bucks! Hey, nice going, Chris! Guys, tonight the drinks are on me. I just won a hundred bucks off Chris's baseball game. Really? How'd you do that? This dad took one look at Chris and thought he'd suck, but it turns out Chris is a great pitcher. I'm so proud of the money I won betting on him. You know, I bet there are plenty of other baseball dads who'd also assume Chris stinks. Peter, we could make a lot of money. Yeah, we could make Tony Braxton money. Is that, is that a lot? It's a lot. And then nothing. And then a record whose proceeds go directly to creditors. Look at this, guys. I can't believe we made all this in one game. Yeah, I'm having a great time handling this money and then touching my eyeball. Jerome, another round for my blurry friends. Yeah, we got a good thing going. We just have to keep Chris's talent a secret. Ah, oh, crap. Now everyone knows Chris is a ringer. Tom Tucker just ruined everything. <sighs> well, it's official. Nobody wants to bet against Chris now. Damn it, I can't believe my kid isn't making money for us anymore. I feel like Jessica Simpson's dead. Well, there are plenty of guys willing to bet on James Wood's side to win, I'll tell you that. The only way we could ever make money now is if Chris lost. Wait a minute, Joe. That's it. All we gotta do is take those bets and get Chris to take a dive. Wait, well, hold on, Peter. You're gonna ask your own son to lose on purpose? Damn, Quagmire. Your fridge gives you water from the door. But why are you so down? Dad told me I have to lose the championship game on purpose. He what? Peter, get in here right now. Wow, someone's day horny. Oh, hey, Chris. Did you tell Chris he had to lose the district championship? Let me just get a garbage bag. Hold on. Okay, now that I'm decent. Yes, I did tell Chris to throw the game, but it's okay. It's for gambling. What? You're betting on Chris's baseball team? Technically against Chris's baseball teams. Chris, your father's a jackass. When you get on that field, you try your very best and play to win. You understand me? Yeah. Thanks, Mom. What do you mean Chris won't take a dive? We already took a ton of bets. Look, I'm sorry, you guys, but my hot piece of ass wife says no way. That's a weird time to brag about your wife, Peter. I don't know. I've just been so horny today. Oh, man, I don't need to know that. Well, pull it together, Peter, because we're about to lose a lot of money. <sighs> I know. We're screwed once Chris takes the mound with that awesome arm of his. Wait, so what you're saying is Chris isn't the problem. His arm is. Yeah, I guess. Okay, we hear you, Peter. Loud and clear. Yeah, we'll fix this problem. Okay, there's the baseball team's locker room right there. Perfect. And we look like regular high school students, so we'll fit right in. Oh, hey, fellow teens. Wait a minute, teenagers don't have wheelchairs. No! <laughs> Peter, we've got great news. Chris isn't playing. He's not? Why? Well, because we broke his arm like you told us to. Shattered. We shattered his arm. You what? I never told you to do that. You didn't. That's what I thought I heard. Quagmire, this is humbling. But it may be time for all of us to talk about hearing aids. I feel terrible. I gotta go find my son. 
But listen, Chris, I had no idea this was going to happen. Look, I was wrong to bet on your games. And it's even worse that I told you to lose. I'm so sorry. Oh, that's okay, Dad. Your baseball career is over. Not necessarily. What? What are you talking about? Well, for the last few weeks, since my right arm's been exhausted from pitching, my left arm's had to, uh, pick up the slack. <laughs> Oh, my God! Sorry, Mr. Quagmire! I heard that bone break. My ears are fine. <laughs>